So this is going to be the very first lesson on this series of building a complete application in Spring Boot. And today we are going to be downloading everything we need. If you already have Spring Boot set up, if you already have MySQL, then you can skip to the step one, which you have on the screen, prepare your tools and assets. But if you're a newbie, you are not a developer, you're not a programmer, you don't have anything about programming or software development, then you are going to start with me right now. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to start the spring detail in this place, open the link in the new tab, so that we'll be able to download the spring tool suits. It's free and it's easy to use. You don't have to install it. I'm going to show you. So it's going to be spring tool suit 4, depending on your OS, if you're using Mac or Linux. For me, I'm using Windows, so I'm going to click on download uh, STS4. So Windows Windows uh, Windows 10 64 bit that is what I'm using so that is here is downloading as you can see so I'm going to download MySQL as well and we're also going to set it up right now so it's also very easy and it's free as well so I'm going to go to you can see the link here right here you can just right click and download and go to the new tab and it opens up right here and you need to select your operating system for me is windows operating system microsoft windows and i'm going to use the so these are 32 bits why do we have okay uh community msi community eight point msi so let's see let's not make any mistake here so we have let's see let me drop down here okay Okay, so basically, I think MySQL uh, is available only in 32 bits. So, um, so we can actually just download. Okay, so let's download the MSI installer. We also have the web installer, but let's download the MSI installer. So I'm going to click on the download button right here. And uh, just say no, start my download and it's, it's going to start. So while these files are downloading to our system, let's go to the next step. Let's now uh, download the models, the controllers, repositories, services, HTML files, and graphics. What these things are all about is explained uh, later on in part five, I think so. So for now, let's download them and so that you'll also have them. So I'm gonna go to models. I'm gonna right click, open in a new tab as well. So, uh, the model zip file is in a zip file, but we are going to download it and then unzip it into a folder. So I'm going to simply just click on this download button right here. So you can see models.zip downloading. Let's go to the next one. Uh, okay, so the next one, controllers, I'm going to open in a new tab. If you have not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. If you miss out anything, leave me a comment to let me know. And also, uh, do... I like the video if it's been informative for you. So this is um, the controllers and I'm gonna just click on this place to download it. Uh, fine, okay, so let's go to the next one. The next one should be uh, repositories. I'm gonna right click, open in a new tab. I'm going to also open the services in a new tab. Let me just open all of them in a new tab and then I can be downloading them. So this time I'm going to open the services in a new tab uh, here, okay. Repositories, download. Uh, services, download as well, okay. And let's now go to the next one, which is HTML files, uh, open in a new tab, JavaScript file, open in a new tab, and graphics, open in a new tab. So, the HTML files, I'm going to download them, down, uh, downloads. Um, then we have the JavaScript files here, and I'm going to download them as well, downloads. Uh, and finally, the graphics for this application, I'm going to download as well. So at this point in our download folder, we have everything and let's now go to start working on it. So let me go to my download folder. So here is my download folder. 
Um, let me just change the view to display maybe a list of items. Okay. So this is what we have. The first thing I would like to do is for us to uh, install MySQL. Okay, there are something still downloading. Let's see. Uh, let's see. What is still downloading? So we have JavaScript, HTML, services, repositories. Okay, I think the Spring Tool Suite is still downloading. Let's see. So going back here, I'm going to go to the show all. Wait, so let's see. Uh, from here, I go to downloads and uh, okay. So so I can say keep. So keep anyway. All right, so I'm going to, at this point, I'm going to go, okay, so you have Spring Tool Suite at this point. Uh, let's first set up MySQL, and then we set up Spring Tool Suite. So I'm going to click on MySQL Community uh, Installer. Granted, I have MySQL in my system, so I might not actually com uh, complete this uh, installation of MySQL since I already have it, but the installation of MySQL is really very, very easy to follow. Okay. So, yes, install. Oh, yes. So it now detects that it's, I already have MySQL in my system. So, um, so I'm going to Okay, so let me just say okay. So it's coming up, let's wait. Again, the Spring Tool Suits, uh, before now it comes as a zip file that can be downloaded, but I don't really know why it comes as a JAR file. So let's double click on it. So this is MySQL launcher, yes. Um, okay, so this is unpacking the Spring Tool Suite. That is what we see here. And as for the MySQL, let's see. Um, so you can see the MySQL uh, window. So I'm going to just say next. So you have all these items. What you can do is to select them and just go next. And it says um, all these items are installed already in my system. Uh, can I actually select them? Yeah, select them is very important. And so it's not selecting, but you can just go next. Uh, yes, so actually you continue next, 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 next with MySQL until you finish the installation of MySQL. And at this point, I would like to about the installation of MySQL. The reason is because I already have MySQL installed. But for you, continue the installation of MySQL until it completes, uh, the installation completes, okay? So I'm going to remove this. So now you have Spring Tool Suits uh, as extracted here. And the same thing you are, you are going to do, you are going to extract the, the other files, which are in zip, in zip uh, uh, folders. Or zip files so I'm gonna say extract files extract so you have graphics extracted and you have inside the graphics uh, file uh, folder you have these items and you have JavaScript also extract files as well and extract so you have JavaScript files extracted as well so extract all of them you can create a directory in your system you can call it maybe um, uh, app application assets and place all these folders inside this directory. Okay. So let's see where we are. Okay. So at this point, uh, we can see that the STS release four is downloaded, is extracted into a folder. So if you open it, you can just open Spring Tool Suite right here. So you can see Spring Tool Suite 4.exe. 
So let's open it and let me just show you how to set it up. Of course, it's, it, it, there is no much setup required, but you need to to be able to open it all the, all to the user interface. So at this point, it asks you for a directory. Uh, so you can just choose any directory in your system. You can go to I can browse. You can go to my documents and then create a folder and call it spring applications spring applications in, in the folder in your folder there and this say select folder and, and say launch so at this point we have spring tool suits although it's still opening up we have mysql and we also have all the assets we need so if you go to mysql if you install it correctly you have mysql i actually will go to I'll go to I'll drop down from here and go to MySQL. So you have a number of things, right? There you have the command line, you have the workbench. So we are going to be using it later on. So we have Spring Tool Suite and let's open MySQL just to make sure it's working. MySQL, go to MySQL command line because we use a bit of command line. And the password we set, you, you set a password because when you are setting it up, it's asked for a password. So I enter my password and it comes up. So if you come up to this point, you've completed the first part. We are now ready to continue in the next part, which is to set up the project. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please subscribe if you've not subscribed. And we we'll see in the next part. If you have any challenges, feel free to let me know in the comment box below this video.